is uh, week seven lab for um, Pace University, Dr. Menace um, Consumer Chemistry. And this week we're going to be making a uh, cross-linked polymer, um, aka flubber. Um, and the lab called to do um, uh, one mix to make one flubber ball, but I sort of cut it in half and I'm going to try to make two flubber balls, uh, different colors, just for fun, just to do something different and have two to play with instead of one. I mean, you wouldn't want it to get lonely. So what we're going to be doing is taking uh, glue, good old fashioned Elmer's glue that we all used to eat when we were in elementary school. Then we're going to take some uh, uh, 20 mule team borax. My wife actually had this on hand for laundry. That. Um, and I've already got that separated in, uh, into a, a little cup here so I don't have to dig it out of this big hefty box. Um, and water. And then for fun, um, got some uh, assorted food color and egg dye since it's uh, almost Easter time. Everybody's going to be dyeing eggs for their kids. And uh, I've already got one pre mixed here and we'll zoom in on that and give you a little uh, idea of how we're going to do this um, and make some flubber. All right, stay tuned, we'll zoom in here shortly. All right, so here you can kind of already see my setup. I've got my uh, water set aside. Um, one of them's already pre-dyed uh, um, the water and I'm gonna add the glue. I've got uh, two ounces of water in each um, glass um, and I've got uh, four ounces of uh, Elmer's glue here so I'm gonna mix the Elmer's um, half and half into each so I um, don't know how exact this is gonna be I guess I'll just do it by by feel so here we go that's not anywhere idea on that. Um, I'm going to keep mixing this. It's going to take a little longer than I thought, so I'll go ahead and uh, get this mixed and uh, we'll get to the next part and stir it up and um, uh, show you the other fun stuff here in a moment. So that's it for now. Alright, so hopefully you can see that pretty well. This one, I've uh, stirred up the glue pretty good. Um, I've already, I'd already added my... Uh, Sorry for making that loud bang in there. I had already added my two food colorings to that. Um, I was trying to make a Tar Heel blue color. Uh, came pretty close. Uh, kind of more of a teal than a, than a Carolina sky blue, but hey, it was it was close. So I'd kind of tried to play with those two to get that color. Um, then on the next one, I've got the um, uh, glue. Haven't really mixed it yet. Um, I'm gonna be adding some red dye. So we'll kind of walk you through that process here um, and you can kind of see it all unfold. So we'll add a couple of small drops of that and take a spoon here and stir it up. So again the, the lab called for just one. Um, I sort of wanted to do two just to you know to have two flubbers to play with instead of just one. Dr. Minna said in her video, um, who wouldn't like flubber, you know, so the more flubber the merrier. That's kind of turning out a little pink, so I want it to be a little darker. Let's see if more dye makes that darker. So I probably put too much in, but I don't want it to be pink. Yeah. There we go. So that's going to look a little red, so you get the idea. Um, mix these together, it's still turning a little pinkish, but oh well, we'll just go with that. So we're going to have two different colors of uh, flubber. And uh, I'll show you the process of the poly polymerization, polymerization, I guess is how you say it, when we add the borax saturated water here in just a moment. Alright, here's the next part of the process. I've kind of cut everything in half again, so I'm going to be doing this uh, times two. I've already got my water set aside. Um, the lab originally called for, um, what was it, a quarter cup of water, so I've cut that in half. I've got 
that set aside here and then it said to add about a teaspoon uh, to each so I've got a quarter teaspoon and I'll be adding uh, half a teaspoon to each so I'll go ahead and add uh, half a teaspoon of borax to each um, glass of water I've got here and this will be my uh, borax solution and um, I think I'll have to look at that by eye and see because we don't want it to be completely dissolved from what I understand, but um, that's that. So we've added the borax to the water, and um, I'll get that mixed up, and the next part will be adding our borax solution to the previously made uh, glue solution over here, and we will um, make some flubber. We'll do that in a moment. All right, so now for the fun part, we're gonna um, add the um, uh, borax solution to the glue solution and try to make some flubber. So uh, if I cut everything in half right, I'll have two flubbers instead of just one, and uh, that's more fun. So let's see what happens. Uh, here goes uh, my borax solution. Um, quite the best. Uh, I don't think it was supposed to, but uh, we will uh, see what happens here. It's already gelling up quite nicely, it feels like. It's not quite as uh, pretty as uh, the one in Dr. Menace's video, but we'll work on it, stir it up some more, and see if we can get some, uh, some, some good flubber that we can play with. Hey, and I made two, so we'll see what happens on the next one. Uh, so I'll continue this process, uh, beat this up a little bit, and hopefully I'll have some uh, good flubber to play with, and uh, we'll show that on the next segment. All right, so I got the, uh, the blue flubber kind of beat up and um, got it out. Now I'm beating up the red flubber. Um, first one came out pretty good. This one looks like it's gonna come out even better. So my uh, mixture must have been a little off in the first one, but this one seems to be oh so right compared to the other one anyway. Um, and here it comes. Wow, hardly a drop left in the glass, so that one's uh, Pretty good, as you see, there's the flubber. Um, kind of stick it to my hand a little bit, um, but you can kind of see that. And I can ball it up and play with it. And I'll show you more with both of them together here in just a moment. I, right now I wanna get it out of my hands and clean my hands off and um, we'll uh, show you more flubber in just a minute. So there it is finished product we've got uh, two flubbers here we've got a uh, pink one kind of looks like a pancake on a piece of paper on a paper plate but uh, it's definitely far more than that and here's the blue one so just to give you an idea of what we can do with these guys um, as you see it's uh, kind of rubbery like silly putty can ball it up Stretch it out and play with it. So here's the uh, other one, pink one, same thing. And if I set them both back in the plate, they'll kind of take the shape of the plate, which is pretty cool. Funny thing about this stuff is uh, I remember one time uh, I took my nephews to an um, arcade place and they both uh, pumped uh, 20 $30 worth of uh, money into arcade games and got tickets. and. Um, then uh, spent all that tickets on uh, some flubber that we made at home for, I don't know, probably a couple of bucks and they spent $30, $40 on a can of flubber. Um, and you can make it at home and it's pretty easy and pretty fun to do at the same time. So 
That's week seven lab, crosslink polymers, and flubber. So, uh, fun stuff to do, and uh, I'm gonna go play and have some fun with the flubber. See you next time.